so we are now at Epcot. We just popped in here to have our Epcot day. Today was the last day of our staycation. And Epcot is the park we decided to do just because we wanted to come over here, have some fun, alcohol. just taking the vibes, alcohol, exactly. <laughs> tacos. <laughs> tacos, the food. Joey's saying it all. Look, Joey's. Right. I like tacos and alcohol. Joey could just hang out in Kava all day. <laughs> yeah. Air that's, that's his vibe. Exactly. And today we've got two of us wearing Motley Kingdom shirts. So I'm wearing the Big Al shirt again. And Joey over here is wearing Happy his. Drinking, the poly drinking shirt. Exactly. The poly drinking shirt. Let's see the back of it. Two shots go. of fun. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. I think he's going to have more than two shots of fun today. Motley Kingdom. <laughs> Check him out. Yes. And I'll show some of the Big Al off again. All right. Just in case you guys didn't see it in the last vlogs. And then Aaron is a loser, so he's not wearing any Motley Kingdom stuff today. Hey, but it's another fun brand. And Jason's wearing a white shirt that has nothing to do with Disney. <laughs> so, at yeah. least he has a Pooger mask. But I mean, check out the back, though. 100 Acre Hood, that's our buddy Chad. Super. It looks vintage because it is. <laughs> <laughs> at least in small shop time. This thing's like four years old, I think. There you go. Yeah, we got the detail. Nice little fun on future vibes. Yeah. So, yes. All right, so now we're going to come into mouse gear real quick because I want to get myself a mask that better matches my shirt. So that'll be the first thing we're doing and then we're going to continue on to World Showcase. Probably Mexico first because Joey likes tacos and alcohol. You rocking them? So cool thing, we just popped into the store real quick to buy some masks but we found these ears that I hadn't seen yet. Right. Um, they are leather and they have a Mickey Mouse signature <laughs> on the side. And it looks right. like they might be specifically for men, which is really cool because I really haven't seen any of the quote unquote mini ears but made for men. Pretty funny. I'm like, I'm digging them. Like, is it just me or are these looking like taller than that? They look a little bit taller than the regular ones. I like those a lot. Yeah, because like, yeah. So, new mask secured. It is the Together Again mask. It's kind of like pink. It goes very well with this outfit. So, that's... 100% why we had to do it. This is like my 10th mask and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them once this whole coronavirus thing is over. I'm just, put them in a photo album, give it to my kids, be like, hey look, that's when we used to wear masks. I don't know, what else can I do with them? So, See, what did you think of them? Oh. Joey got one of the two things that he wanted today, his tacos. Now he's just missing the alcohol. Preferably not in the taco. <laughs> Alcoholic tacos? I mean, if somebody could figure it out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we have a really short line for Frozen Ever After today. Uh, this is the shortest I've seen it so far since Epcot reopened. So it looks like it's going to be a good day because it's noon right now. It's like 1230 and it should be busier, but it's not. So looking like a good day so far. Right, guys? And we got the shade. This trip just keeps getting better and better. Hashtag staycation August 2020. Staycation 2020. My name is Teeny McCurdy. So this is another pair of like men's style ears that has come out recently. And they're over at the Norway Pavilion. They're like Viking style. And they're really cool. I really enjoy the fact that these are like faux leather. Uh, the ones that we saw earlier were also faux leather. Oh, they are. Yeah. So right. it's, they're not plastic. Yeah, they may look plastic, but they're not. It's like faux leather, to them too. which is really nice. Yeah. These are cool. Right. I like this All a lot. The detailing on the, uh... Yeah, it's got very nice the detailing band. and stuff. So, China Pavilion. Always looking great, China. The real reason I ever come into the China Pavilion. <gasps> oh, both of you, huh? Rude. I got a new hat, what do you guys think? Psych! <laughs> Alright, so here I am in a mirror selfie, but Lola and Vanessa keep ruining all of my images. They get in the background of every single one, they keep running into us. They've been following us for like an hour now. What? We didn't know you were coming here! <laughs> like, following us for like an hour now and just keeps running into us. I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> I found a really cool new use for this stuff. You just like put it on your neck and just like squeeze. 
<laughs> so we of course had to come over to Japan and get some violet sakes. There's Aaron kind of taking pictures of his for his Instagram. In the rain. In the rain, yeah. But this is one of my favorite drinks at Epcot. Um, courtesy of Adventure Bros for introducing me to it. Adventure Bros introducing us to violet sake. They didn't make it, but you know, they drink it way more than we do. They're the unofficial spokesman. Yeah. The salesperson for violet sake. So, toodaloo. So Aaron is wearing the coolest hat today. Hey. It says, let's get fucked up and drive. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty like that. <laughs> Story of our lives. Let's get fucked up and drive. Let's get fucked up in Disney. Oh, okay, okay. Let's get fucked up in Disney. There we go, there at, we go. Violet Sake Disney. Club. At Disney. Okay, so Let's tell the people what it actually stands for because I don't know what it stands for. You were close. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Let's Get drive. Fucked Up and Die. Oh. <laughs> But the next line in the song is, I'm speaking figuratively, of course. Oh, like what song is that? that I committed suicide. Social suicide. Got you. Yeah. Okay. It's... Got it, okay. Soundtrack, my favorite emo band ever. Perfect, so slightly more appropriate. If you're down for it, check them out. Cool, so slightly more appropriate than what I thought it was. <laughs> Just barely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we circled back to the America's Garden Theater because we want to see the Marimba de las Americas which is playing today because recently it's been Mariachi Cobre but I really 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 want to see how good Marimba de las Americas is so that's what we're gonna watch right now um, Jammeters plays as well but I've already seen Jammeters I haven't seen this one so let's watch it So, um, if you've ever wondered where the hell the ringtone from your phone comes from, that's the instrument. Just saying. Also, really like Marimba de las Americas. It was very just catchy tunes and they were really interesting. Also, side note, but it looks like they're getting ready to do a cavalcade right now. Oh, yeah. Because this is where they come from oh, and they're, they're getting ready. So I think we should give it a second. Habibi! Hey Joey, what you got there sounds just like a guitar, but it's only got one string. Tomorrow, be able to learn to count to three. <laughs> <laughs> so clap your hands and stop your feet and try to keep right with him. What he's got is real old country rhythm. <laughs> so this is over in Morocco. This is where they start. When you hear the music and you see the cast members line up like that, you can tell it's going to be a cavalcade. case. So you just give it a second and you can see him. Check it out. Looks like there's four of them today. Bell is on there as well. Usually it's just three. So we've got Bell, Aurora, Snow White, and Jasmine. Looking beautiful as ever, ladies. So we sent Jason and Joey to the other side to take a picture from over there, here. Because oh. this is like the forced perspective. Yeah. So the pics they took weren't looking as cool as I wanted it to. So instead I think I'm going to get a clean slate of it and just Photoshop it. Um, if I finish the Photoshop before this vlog comes out, then I'll put it in here. If not, then it'll be on my Instagram. So that's why you should always be following my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel. So subscribe, like, comment, and follow on the Instagram so you can get double the content. Because you only get half of it if you're only on one of them. So we got the best seats in house. Best seats in house. Concourse B, row one, means you're the highest up and in the middle of the screen. So it is our favorite seat to get always. The best. And we didn't even have to ask. Yeah, we just coincidentally got it. It's our lucky day, Joey. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> 
it never ceases to make me laugh. The fact that the social distancing stuff is just children's booster seats with a piece of glass in the middle of it is Aaron's hand. And they didn't even bother to take off the tag that says it's, it is a children's booster seat. There's a kid on that and the proper way to like write it. Imagineers are too creative sometimes. So um, we just got off of Soren and it looks like we are going to call it a day because it's like kind of raining and got to go home and do some editing, get some sleep. It's been a long weekend, been a long couple of days, but you know, that closes our chapter in today's Epcot trash adventure because we are all Epcot trash. And it also closes our chapter in the staycation saga. This was the last bit of it. We're now going home. So see you guys in the next vlog.